Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about something a little different. So the other day I received a very intriguing email, and by the way, my email is in the description in case you were wondering. But yeah, this email really captured both my eyes and my mind, and posed a very good question. Also, thanks to Peter Robertson for submitting this. Hi there Tanner, I am 14 and a huge Ninjago fan like yourself. In your recent video on the top 5 Elemental Masters, I saw your email address. I wouldn't blame you if you disregarded this email because I wanted to ask you about something other than submitting a reel of Skylar per your request. I love everything Ninjago, but my parents don't let me get into it nearly as much as I would because they argue that the ninja's elemental powers are related to Eastern mysticism and do not want me being influenced by this notion. What do you think? Do you think their powers are as harmless as I do? Or do you see my parents' point? First of all, very good question. But yeah, I guess I've never really thought of Ninjago being a show or a community that parents don't allow their children to be a part of. I mean, yeah, the show contains a lot of violence, death, and tragedy, but if anything, those reasons would be why parents don't let their children watch. But no, the fact that the ninja can use and manipulate the elements of the world is not at all related to Eastern mysticism. I mean, sure, there might be some stuff in there because, you know, Ninjago is heavily inspired by Eastern culture, but I'll say what I said in my response. It's simply a case of Lego men shooting fire from their hands. And while it may sound ridiculous, it's what it is. We live in a society today in which everything is offensive. Everything you say can and most likely will offend someone. In fact, I'm fairly certain I've already offended someone with this video. But really guys, it's a case of growing up. You don't need to go digging through every tiny detail trying to find something to be offended by. It's Ninjago. It's not The Walking Dead or Luke Cage. And while yes, Ninjago may have dark or controversial moments to say the least, in the end it's actually a story-driven, plot-focused, and character-aspiring experience that I am lucky to be a part of. And I hope others can see this as well. I mean, you should always listen to the wise words of your parents. But again, it's Ninjago. Just give your kids a break. So there you go, you guys. Those are just my thoughts on the matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big thanks to Peter Robertson for submitting this question. I really enjoyed making a video on this topic, and I wish you the best of luck with your situation. But besides that, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to give this video a thumbs up rating, and be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really means a lot to me. Also, remember that the comment section is yours for any discussions you want to have. And by the way, guys, this would be a topic to discuss. Again, this is a very interesting topic. But nevertheless, don't forget to also leave your video suggestions down below as well for a chance to have your idea featured as an actual video sometime later on. Thank you guys so very much for watching. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.